Um, uh, first of all, I want to thank you very much, <coughs> Councillor, for being here with us this morning to discuss this vital piece of legislation, which I'll be very strongly supporting. Um, I would like to thank some of the opposition spokespersons for their approach here this morning, which has been very thoughtful, um, and both Victor and Boylan uh, and, and um, Senator Eileen Quinn, um, Senator Eileen Quinn talked about bringing this back to the people. And they're 100% right. This is about the applicants, the homeowners affected. Um, it's about their chances of getting their lives back in order again. And this has been an awful traumatic time for all those people. Um, and an awful lot of work has been gone into this over the last two years. This isn't a bill that has arisen two months ago. This is a bill that has arisen as a result of consultation with you, Minister, and the Mike Action Group. Um, from weeks of going into your office, I met with the Mike Action Group and you and Donegal when you launched the first scheme. Not a scheme of your making, um, but you launched it to get this thing underway and to see where we're at. The involvement of that scheme since August 2020 has been enormous. And it's been enormous because of the flexibility of you and meeting the action group and meeting homeowners and working with ourselves as politicians. The hundreds of hours of you and your, de your department officials, um, the hundreds of hours we've put in ourselves, the hundreds of hours Minister McConnell has been in separately meeting with the Mike Action Group and the transformation of this scheme from that original scheme to what it is today is not recognisable. And the big shout, um, I suppose the first um, gathering in Dublin uh, was 100% redress um, and that, that is addressed in this bill um, and many other things. And we would like to, to, to have more in it, absolutely would. Uh, and there are some concerns, Minister, I, I will take to, to, to the floor to, today. But first of all, I would say, I've had calls the weekend, over the weekend as well. I was at a meeting in Moncana last night. Um, there's so much misinformation and information out there. People don't know if they're coming or going. People are in real distress. And they need to know what the true information is. So I think they be do worse than set up a specific website just for information purposes to give people a, a proper direction in, in relation to this. And their engineers are key. Politicians can say one thing on one side and the other thing on the other side, but the families are caught in between them. And that anger has to come out of it. This scheme needs to get on. People need to get on with their lives. And to do that, I think the website would be helpful. But also the engineers involved here will play a key role. And that relationship between engineers and the applicants um, is really, really important. And at the end of the day, I would say to homeowners, um, maybe pay less attention to what us as politicians have to say from here on and consult your engineer, because that's where the real information is at. There's too much misinformation and backing and throwing. Um, and we don't always have the facts right. The engineer has to have it right because he has to guarantee it and stand over it. Um, I sat for the eight hours at the uh, committee hearing. It was a tremendous piece of work um, because we got first hand from the homeowners what the issues were. Um, and I heard very clearly from the Engineers Ireland um, in relation to the foundations. And they are pleading for anybody that's information on foundations or have a house out there where the foundations are in trouble, to let them know, because their clear knowledge at the moment is there is no foundations in Ireland, anywhere, in any county, where there's bother. And even the scientist that came into the room was asked to pass his information of where his samples came from. That hasn't been passed on yet. If there's information out there in relation to foundations, let's have it. I'm glad you get the guarantee this morning that you'll allow the foundations in, if and when the knowledge and the NSEA report come in to say that. But there's an absolute fear out there at the minute in relation to foundations that they're going to fall apart. The solid information from Engineers Ireland at the minute, who at the end of the day have to be the standard, because there's no other standard we go with, is that there's no difficulty with any foundation in Ireland at the moment. But the, the scientific work is now underway. And until we have that, it can't be included. And that's the way government works. And if it didn't, there'd be lots of other issues. Um, 
I am going to bring up an issue with you here today, um, Minister, in relation to the request for the demolition of a house after um, remedial works had been granted. If an engineer has asked for, for remedial works to happen, and they haven't actually, um, when they want to do the work on the ground, um, it's found that the deterioration of the block has gone to an extent that it now needs demolition. Under the current um, bill, they're not able to get demolition of the house if the house to deteriorate, deteriorate much further in the, in the medium term. We need something on that. There are many other things, Minister, I want to, to raise here. Um, and I will bring up the issues with you um, uh, during, during, during amendments uh, on the next stages. Um, but I, I really want to get this bill underway because there's many people that want to get their houses and their lives back in order. Um, not everything's in there would like, but as much as we can get at the moment. Uh, and I appreciate your time. Thank you.